So Windows has been around for a while, almost 40 years? And of course it goes through crazy development cycles and the end product looks nothing like the work in progress. So today we're gonna look at unreleased versions of Windows, NT only, so Windows XP and up. Also shout out to Michael and JD if you want more in-depth look into these builds, you should go watch his videos. So Windows XP was launched on October 25th, 2001. Jeez. But development was underway way back in 1999 under two projects, Neptune and Odyssey. Neptune was meant to be the home release and Odyssey the professional release. Both were merged to form Windows Whistler, the codename for XP. The build we're looking at is from October 24, 2000. So exactly a day and a year before XP was officially launched. And let me tell you, the setup was a pain. So it would not install in VMware, no matter what I did. And apparently this is because of an incompatibility with ACPI, but disabling it would not work either. But disabling it on VirtualBox did work. We've got a vastly different setup screen and it says Windows Whistler on the loading screen as well. Cool. Okay, well, let's go to VirtualBox. This is the only time we're using VirtualBox because um, I could not get it to run on VMware. Ah, it says Codename Whistler. Also, I like the old like Windows 98 logo. It actually looks nothing like XP so far. Like usually XP has like a full blue welcome screen in it. That's the Windows 2000 startup, isn't it? Actually, this whole setup looks a lot like Windows 2000. Look at this new theme, this professional. Ooh, hey, wait, look. When there's one main dialog box, the box behind it is red. That's kind of an interesting idea, not gonna lie. Ooh, let's click on comments. Oi. Let me. It's time to give some feedback on Windows XP, guys. So what's my email address? I'm not gonna dox my email. Just how bad is this problem? Intol- Guys, it's so freaking bad, yeah? Let's see if we can find the main bliss wallpaper. I don't remember this from anywhere. But this is kind of starting to look like XP. Turn off. What the hell was that? That was the Windows 3.1 startup sound. Okay, buckle up, because this one's a doozy. So Windows Vista was launched January 30th, 2000 to mixed reception. Codenamed Longhorn, named after a bar between Whistler and Blackcomb, it was originally meant to come out in 2003, but development was a giant mess. And it shows, because we're gonna look at three builds. The earliest build we're gonna look at is build 4005 from January 28th, 2003 which has a broken Windows Partition Manager, so you actually have to partition your drive using the XP setup. Build 4051 from October 2003 also failed a couple of times, and Build 5112 also has a broken Partition Manager. Also, each of these builds have vastly different setups, but no text mode setup. You're in the GUI from the beginning. We have this bluish aqua theme for Build 4005, this black theme for 4051, and this completely different setup process for 5112. Microsoft said f*** it and completely reset development in 2004. Thank God XP was so good. Okay, well, let's look at Windows Vista build 4005 from January 2003. That's like four years before <laughs> Vista actually launched. That's an interesting take on the XP welcome screen. Okay, so the startup sound is supposed to be Windows XP, but the builds for Vista are so broken. The builds after that are pretty stable. That's a very cool wallpaper though. I really like this bluish aesthetic. Also, you're supposed to have like widgets here. Although you can see like these logos are still from XP. I would prefer this over XP. It still looks a lot like XP though. Let's see, property. Oh, that's interesting. So this is called the Plex theme. I like this theme, although not over arrow. Man said bliss. These are all just from XP. Maybe not that one. That looks very different. Oh, what the heck? No, oh my god. This keeps happening on. Oh, oh my god. I'm just gonna put this in the bottom. Let's try Inver. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, so now we're gonna look at build 4051 from October 2003. Ah, we have a new startup screen. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Though. To be fair, yeah, it's becoming increasingly obvious why Windows Vista didn't come out in 2003 because this sh is a mess. There we go, finally. That's an interesting theme, though. It looks way different from Windows XP and it looks way different from the first build we looked at. Also, the widgets are working in this build. Whatever. F off, dude. Oh, this theme is called Slate. This Slate theme is slick, though. I like it. That also seems to have changed. This is by far the worst when it comes to drivers. And that would actually be a precedent because Windows Vista was also notoriously bad with drivers. Windows code name Longhorn. What is this? Oh. So the final Longhorn build we're looking at is from July 2005. 
you can see we have a completely new loading screen. This build is more stable, I was gonna say, but what the heck, maybe not. Yeah, so Vista was always just, yeah. But unfortunately, we do not have Arrow here. Even though we have the graphics drivers because it's just such a massive mess. Also, I don't know what happened to the widgets. They should be there. What the frick? This is starting to look more and more like Vista though. You can see the evolution. It's random. I want the program run. It's not there. And a lot of these logos are starting to look like the Vista 7 logos. It's a cool logo, not gonna lie. I like this wallpaper though. Oh, what the heck is this? Nice. You can see it's all glass and stuff. They really were like pushing the arrow. In. Also, I really like this new start menu. So Windows 7 was released on October 22, 2009, just about two years after Vista. But to understand Windows 7, we need to talk about Vista. Longhorn's development was a mess, and it reflected in Windows 7. See, Longhorn was initially meant to be a minor release, about a year or two after XP. And Blackcomb was meant to be a giant overhaul. But Longhorn's development was such a mess that it ended up being the giant overhaul and Blackcomb a minor update. Hence why Windows 7 is not that much different from Windows Vista. And it shows because the setup is largely identical to Windows Vista in Build 60 by 19. And when you first log in, there's almost nothing different on the surface. So this is Windows 7 built 6519. So just like about a year after Vista. And as you can see, it has like the same background aesthetic and stuff. To be fair yet, even the commercial release was not that different from Vista. And let's just be honest. They literally just repackaged Vista and was like, here, Vista, but it's good. As you can see, we already have Arrow from the beginning. That's pretty cool to see the fact Taskbar. That's actually something that was not there by default. It's a hidden feature. So you have to actually go into like reg edit and then you have to like make this key called can has superbar, which is actually I think a 2007 meme reference. Although these icons are unique. These are completely different. Rate your experience guys. Windows 7 is gonna get five stars. Kidding. Also, that's a different Windows Explorer icon. That was Windows Mail. I thought that was the File Explorer icon. They're already calling it Windows 7. So it was the code name, and then it was just like, let's just name it Windows 7. Windows DVD Maker, ooh. Oh, Ultimate Extras. Really? Automatic updates is an ultimate thing. So Windows 8 is, 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 is not my favorite. So Windows 8 was released October 26, 2012. Apparently Windows 8 was in development even before Windows 7 came out and Microsoft always wanted to focus on touch. That sounded and also on ARM processors. And as we're gonna see, from pretty early on, we had this weird mishmash of touch features on desktop. The build we're looking at is from February 2011. The setup is pretty much identical to Windows 7, except some broken text. And even when you get to the desktop, you're gonna notice very little difference until we unlock some features. <laughs> Do you remember the like MySpace pages? Although they they got a beta fish. I don't know what the frick Microsoft was thinking. So it does it twice. Cool. I like this wallpaper though. This build is actually very similar to Windows 7 until you run the Redlock program. And by hidden features, I mean bullshit. Like this is the dumbest thing that Microsoft has done, yeah? And they put it in front of these well, Mistakes were made. And we also have Arrow, interestingly, which we did not in Windows 8. Microsoft, please bring back the uh, Arrow. Also, these folder icons are different. What the hell is this? We can uh, go into... How the frick do I... Okay. Well, that's new. How do I run... Uh run. How the frick do I access the freaking regular search, man? How do I freaking run? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. That was such a long-winded way to get to freaking... How the frick do you just get rid of the freaking start menu? Microsoft Confidential. Guys, the operating system is called Microsoft Confidential. How do I shut down this computer? Frick, do I shut it down, man? Oh, okay. Brilliant. That is genius, isn't it? It's just a stupid operating system. Bun Windows 8. Didn't even shut down properly. So Windows 10 was released July 29, 2015. Almost nine years ago now. And was meant to be the last version of Windows. That did not happen. Hence it was named Windows 10. We know it was in some sort of development in 2013. And internal documents sometimes refer to it as Windows 8.2, sometimes as Windows Threshold, and sometimes as Windows 9. In fact, the build we're looking at, build 9780, was called Windows 9. The setup is pretty much like Windows 8, ugly, but was pretty much hassle-free. That actually looks a lot like Windows 8. Also, 
Thank God. Thank you, Microsoft. Bringing back the start. That was a dumb idea, though. Whoever thought we've lost Arrow, though. Windows 10 does not have Arrow either. That actually still does look a lot like Windows 10. Oh, we have the Microsoft Store. Let's see if it actually loads. Oh my god, man. Let's type in a winner. See, that was so much easier. Should we wait for this build? Cause, or like... How was that? I didn't do anything. Yeah, this is broken. These are Windows 8 ones, right? Yeah. That's buggy, dude. The frick? Not much interesting going on here. But, I can click on this and shut down. Wow! So simple, right? 